right. Hi, everybody. Thank you for being here today. Happy Friday. You guys made it to the last day of Dreamforce, so congratulations. You deserve a tap on your back. I am here today to talk to you about how to become an app exchange partner and grow your business in the Salesforce ecosystem. My name is Juliana, and I'm a marketing manager on the app exchange team working with potential partners like yourself. You've probably seen this a few times now and could even say it with me. As you know, Salesforce is a publicly tra traded company, so please make all of your purchasing decisions based on what is currently available in the market. All right, so let's get started. It's no surprise that we are in the middle of a massive transformation. We hear this in so many different ways from our partners, our customers, and the market in general. This transformation is really being driven by the adoption of cloud. IDC predicts this will continue to grow 20% year over year. And that is a huge opportunity for you as developers to build applications that customers are looking for. So we can see this opportunity and for companies that are, in, that are based in the cloud, that is a great place to be because clearly we can see that is where the market is headed. But the truth is, it's not really about the cloud anymore. It's really about the growth and the value the cloud is driving. At Salesforce, trust is our number one value, and the cloud business model really requires trust between the customer and the vendor. This ensures that the vendor will prioritize customer success and continue to earn the customer's business. The cloud opens up a ton of innovation and really allows the ability to deliver this constant innovation anytime. And it opens, it delivers the ability to be mobile and to be available for our users anytime, anywhere, because, I mean, we're living in a mobile world. We have our phone, our iWatches always at our fingertips, and that's really important. And then you've heard of the fourth industrial revolution, I'm sure, in many different sessions and in the keynote this week. And the cloud really unlocks the business value of analytics and AI. And most importantly, and probably my favorite, is the cloud allows companies to work together and their company cloud products can all work seamlessly together, creating an ecosystem effect. And this ecosystem is what has made Salesforce so successful. The ecosystem is probably the most important value that the cloud unlocks. And at Salesforce, this is a huge part of the, sales, the Salesforce economy. By 2022, it's projected that together with our partners and our customers, we will reach 3.3 million jobs and reach 859 billion in GDP impact. And for you as developers, this is a, again a huge opportunity for you to take those custom apps that you're building and really create a business out of it. For partners that we have seen join the ecosystem already, we have seen an average growth rate of 48% year over year. And partners are so successful with this and in the ecosystem through the App Exchange Partner Program. And that's really what I'm here to talk to you guys about today. So when you join the App Exchange Partner Program, it helps developers, startups, and ISVs achieve massive growth with Salesforce. You get access to three main areas when you join the program. The first, and probably most importantly, is access to our customers through App Exchange, the number one SaaS marketplace. You get access to our technology and our number one platform with the constant innovation. And the best part is you can use as little or as much of the platform as you want. And lastly, you get access to our resources through growth multipliers that allow you to achieve massive scale and grow your business with Salesforce. So let's jump into these each a little bit more. Like I mentioned, you get access to all of our customers when you join the partner program, and that is a huge benefit. That is 150,000 customers all over the world looking to install an application to complement their Salesforce business. In fact, we have just recently we have hit over 6 million installs, and these are customers, and they're not just a small subset. I mean, we've been here all week at Dreamforce. We can look around and see how many customers are actually here and interested in App Exchange and applications. It's 88% of Salesforce customers and 89% of Fortune 100 that have installed at least one App Exchange app. So this is kind of the opportunity that you have with our customers. Let's talk more about the exact partner technology that they're looking for in App Exchange. The most obvious one are applications or add-ons like components, bots, or data that really enhance Salesforce. It's technology that enhances the current capabilities of our CRM and is open to existing Salesforce users. 
The other one that kind of is pop, is, comes up is kind of line of business. And these are, when you think of Salesforce, we typically sell to 25% of users in a company. That leaves 75% in companies like accounting, HR, and IT as white space opportunities. And our partners are finding great success in kind of targeting this area. And with apps like HR, so job science, for instance, those are applications that can be used by anybody in the company. And lastly, a lot of partners go after specific industries and focus on the verticals, like Encino or Velocity. And they have had great success kind of targeting that niche market and going after certain industries. And again, those are applications that are available for any user and any customer. OK, so that is kind of the opportunity that you have with our customers and what they're looking for. Let's jump more into the technology and our exact platform that you'd be getting as you jo if you join the program. So when you think of the platform, it's a lot different. The platform we offer is a lot different than kind of what's out in the marketplace right now. When you build with the Salesforce platform, or the platform we offer you is the exact same platform that we build all of our core products on. It's an enterprise grade system that really helps you build applications quickly. And when you think of building a SaaS application, really any application, or really 80% of the application is the same. You need trusted infrastructure, you need core capabilities like search and reporting, and you need the ability to sell, distribute, service, and update your application. The Salesforce platform can take care of all of this for you. You don't need to worry about the 80%, because what we really want you to focus on is your innovation, because that 20% in your innovation is what really brings value to the customers that you're serving. So when you think of kind of building with the platform, the 80-20 rule, we take care of that 80% so you can really focus on that 20%. And there are a couple ways that you can go about partnering with us. If you already have an application built and you want to just get on the App Exchange list on the App Exchange quickly and you're kind of ready to go, that is okay. We can let you can connect to Salesforce through a simple API connection. So it's fast, you go through security view, and you're ready to go. The other option, if you don't have an app built yet and you have an idea and you kind of want to get started, you can build a completely native app on the Salesforce platform. And you can build, sell, and innovate like Salesforce. In reality, most of our customers find something in the middle that works for them. They might start with a simple API connection and use their current app. And then once they learn more about their customers, what the functionality that they're looking for, they will then kind of move into building a full stack native app with Salesforce. The most important thing is that you guys need to remember, you need to do what is important for your business and what is important to your customers. All right, so to recap, we've talked about the customers that you get access to, 150,000 customers all over the world. We've talked about our technology and the number one platform and the constant innovation. And the best part, again, you can use as little or as much of the platform as you want through an API or building a full platform application. Let's talk more about the resources that you get to help you achieve massive scale. So the resources are kind of split into three different areas. You have the included ones, you have paid, and then you have the earned resources. So first of all, everybody should join the, partner the Salesforce partner community. This unlocks a ton of resources and knowledge for you as you're learning about becoming a partner and kind of starting that journey. You can start networking with other partners in there. We have chatter. You can talk to them and get some questions answered. As you start building up your partnership, there are a lot of paid opportunities that you can take advantage of. You can sponsor Dreamforce. You can sponsor world tours. Um, we also have a co-marketing program called AMP. So when you're ready to sell your application, we can co-market with you to kind of get your app known better out there, displayed on the app exchange. Um, so there's a lot of co-marketing opportunities. And lastly are the earned opportunities. So when you join the partner program, you get access to that ecosystem that we have been talking so much about. And not only that, but you get access to our Salesforce teams internally, like our alliances team, our distribution team, and Salesforce ventures. And most importantly, we succeed when you succeed. So we have a revenue share model. So we provide all of these resources because we really want you to grow your business quickly with Salesforce. OK, so I've talked a lot about the different opportunities and the benefits you get. But I wanted to go a little bit deeper into a partner story about Encino. I don't know if any of you guys have heard of Encino. It's a 
financial kind of banking application um, for financial institutions. They help speed up the loan process and deposit process. Um, Encino is actually, they have a really cool story. They like to say they were built by bankers for bankers. They came out of Live Oak Bank. So Live Oak is a Salesforce customer and they were building a lot of functionality on top of their CRM to make it work faster, to if it, like make the loan process more efficient. And they actually realized they could take that functionality and really spin it off into their own company. Um, and that's how Encino was born. So it started in 2012. It's fully built on the Salesforce platform and they have a very small development team. So the Salesforce platform allows them to, again, focus on that kind of their innovation and get up and running quickly. And then they also use Trailhead to train all of their internal developers on the platform and get certified and kind of build up their business that way. So the quote by Dory Wace, I really like it. Um, it took them a year to realize what the platform could really offer them and realize that they didn't need to focus on building everything. They could focus on kind of their core, me their core message um, and building kind of their innovation that they wanted to focus on. All right, so how do we move forward together? There are three key stages of partnership success. When you think about building an application, you want to make sure that you have an MVP. And in this case, MVP stands for minimal viable product. We want you to make sure that you've beta tested your product with beta customers, you've received feedback, and you've updated that application. We don't want you to build your application, go through security review, and list immediately on the app exchange. It's really important to do that testing and that feedback so when you go to market, you really have that minimal viable product. Secondly, think about your market and where you want to fit in. And kind of as you're building up your, pro your MVP, think about the product, the market, whether it's SMB or enterprise, and really build for that market. And lastly, scale. We've talked about the different resources that we have so we can help you invest in sales and marketing to really grow your business. And some kind of key tips on how to build a successful app exchange partnership or a successful business as you start kind of going through the partnership journey. The most obvious one, like I mentioned in the slide previously, is build for your users. If you're building, if you're targeting SMB, don't go build an enterprise, enterprise grade application. Really focus on that product market fit and find that niche. Get Salesforce smart. We have a great learning tool called Trailhead and we have a ton of app exchange kind of App Exchange basics, um, trails that you can take to kind of get started and learn more. You guys are all at Dreamforce, so that's really awesome. We have world tours. We also have more local events. So start going to events to learn more about what Salesforce is doing. And then, like I said earlier, join the partner community because it's a great place to start and get more resources and tap into the partner community. And then leverage the platform. We've talked a lot about the platform. You can connect with the simple API, you can build natively on the platform. Um, the more that you use the platform, the stickier your application will be. And then align with industries. Industries is a huge focus area for Salesforce right now. And it's really, we are getting into industries through partners that are creating apps for the vertical. So that's a great place to go and kind of a great market to be in to grow quickly. And lastly, define your strategy. So once you start working or going through the process of becoming a partner, you get um, a partner account manager, you have a TE that will work with you, and they really help you define your business and kind of the goals that you want to get out of the partnership. All right, so I know you guys are all ready to become partners now. So if you go to joinappexchange.com, you can learn a lot more. You can sign up there to join the partner community. Um, we have a lot of resources to kind of get you started. So definitely head there. And Dreamforce is not over yet. So right over there in the App Exchange Den, we have a partner program booth that you can actually talk to somebody right now to learn more about how to get started. We have a little pamphlet you can pick up. Um, I think we still have some hot sauce left. So if you haven't had the chance to get our famous App Exchange hot sauce, I recommend doing that. And of course, tag your social pics, hashtag happiness. That's it. Thank you, guys. And I am free to take questions as well.